Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you my process of how I am going about editing my novel after I received it back from my critique partner. What I am doing here is I am taking the manuscript and going through all the notes that she gave me and I am putting it into the book companion journal so that I can have it in one place so that I can go back and refer to it without having to search the entire manuscript for all the notes that she made. The first step I'm doing is just really focusing on all the things that I remember her telling me about the characters. There were a few characters that I literally just couldn't have, couldn't find a image for them. I knew how they behaved and I knew how their personality was, but I didn't have like a look for them. So what we ended up doing before I sat down to do this process, we went through each character and we found a celebrity that fit the image and I'm happy to report that I've got all my characters sorted out. I know exactly what each of them look like. It's like the way they look and the way I wrote them, their personality, their mannerisms, all the things match these characters, these actors perfectly. I probably will share that with you guys going forward in other videos so that you can see where I was coming from. but. Yeah, that is the process I'm going through right now. And this is the third draft edits that I'm going through. I decided to take it outside because it was actually a beautiful day. And I don't know, I just wanted to get a little fresh air and just be out in the open. So again, like I said, this is my third draft that I am revising. So there wasn't much writing at all. Well, I wouldn't say much writing. There wasn't any writing at all. What I was doing mostly is like I said, going through the manuscript and just taking note of everything that she told me that I needed to add that would spice up the book a little more, that would make it a little more um, uh, visual. For example, I consider myself an under writer. I don't like to over explain things or over describe things. And as a reader, I think she might want those little things. So it was a, a fine balance between, yes, I need to include that. No, I'm not sure I want to include that because she was curious about certain things. And a lot of the things that she said did make a lot of sense and I will be including them. There was only like one or two things that I was like, ah, is that really necessary? Um, but, you know, as a reader, I do listen to her because a, she's ultimately you know the one that i need to please at the end you know the readers and i think because she's constantly reading and she knows she has an ear or an eye for it i should say i really took to heart what she was telling me that i needed to add so those are all the little notes that i'll be making going forward what I really wanted to mention about this process of giving it to my daughter as my critique partner, what I really wanted her to focus on was story and character. I wanted to make sure that the story came across as strong and compelling and clear, that there were no plot holes, that the characters were well defined, that the story was, you know, the motives were perfect, that there was a growth to the characters that my subplots were making sense. That is really the direction that I gave my, that I gave her when she took the manuscript. I didn't really want her to be too concerned about grammar issues or typos. If she came across something that needed to be fixed, obviously go ahead and tell me and I would, obviously I would appreciate it. And, um, that would be an additional help to me. But what I really wanted her to focus on going forward when she was reading the novel was those things that I mentioned. And I just wanted to bring that up in case that is something that you find yourself in, like you're getting ready to give it to your critique partner for the first time, or maybe you're trying out new critique partners because in the past it hasn't really worked out. Maybe you can give them a little direction as to what it is that you're looking for. 
Maybe you are looking for somebody to give you, you know, is the sentence structured properly? Do I have a lot of typos? Can you help me with finding the, a better word? Or, you know, I don't know how you can use your critique partner. You can use them in many different ways. But for me, it was more important that she focused on the story, the plot, focused on the characters and their motivations to make sure that I didn't have any plot holes, that I did have a legitimate growth in my characters, that everything was happening on purpose, that nothing was just said to be said. So I think with her help, I really tightened the story really nicely and I'm really, really happy with it and I cannot wait for you guys to read it. You guys might be shocked by this because I actually cannot believe this is the, let me see, I've written four novels, not counting this one, so four novels and two nonfiction books. So six books and this is the actual first time that when I went back in to from draft one to two to now this one three that I actually created a new document each time I did it and labeled it as such so I still have a copy of my first draft then when I started my second I have a copy of that second draft and now I have a copy of my third draft that I started this weekend actually. So I cannot believe that in the past, I've just like rewritten over the same manuscript over and over again. The only two differences that I have is I have the manuscript that I would work on and then the manuscript I got back from the editor and then the published manuscript. I cannot believe I did that. So. I don't recommend that for you going forward. If you are a new writer or if you've done it like me, don't do that. Make sure you make new copies every single time you start a new draft. Yeah, guys, so that is my advice if you find yourself editing like me. And this is really my process after I get my manuscript back from my critique partner. I have a similar but different process when I get it back from the editor. So if you want to watch that video, make sure you subscribe to the channel because as soon as I get it back from the editor, I will be doing another video. If you want to watch more videos on editing, watch this one next. I'll see you in a brand new video next week. Until then, God bless you.